Hey everybody, welcome to Finding Parametric Equations. Uh, so we've already talked about how to graph them and how to eliminate the parameter. Now we're actually going to be given a parametric, e uh, or excuse me, given a rectangular equation. We're going to have to find the parametric equations. So let's look at an example. Okay, so it says find a set of parametric equations for the parabola whose equation is y equals 9 minus x squared. So this isn't actually very hard at all. It's, it's pretty straightforward. And we can do this in a, a variety of different ways. Okay, x is the independent variable. So one of the things we can do is just redefine our x value as, let's just say, let x equal t or t equal x okay well that means if x equals t then y would equal 9 minus t squared and there is one of the parametric equations so you could have x equals t comma y equals 9 minus t squared then you're done but that doesn't mean that's the only way you can do this for example what happens if I let why don't we say let x equal t plus 1? What does that do to our 9 minus x squared? So we would have y equals 9 minus, in parentheses now, we know what x is. x is t plus 1, so we'll substitute t plus 1 here. And then we'll simplify. We'll have 9 minus, oops, got to square that t squared plus 2t plus 1. Okay, and now that's going to equal 9 minus t squared minus 2t minus 1. So I'm left with 8 minus t squared minus 2t. So another way to write this is x equals t plus 1, and then y equals 8 minus t squared minus 2t. And there's another answer. And I could do it again. I could say, let's let, what happens if x, I have another marker here, I do, let x equal t cubed. Okay? Well, that means y would equal 9 minus, well, my x is t cubed, so t cubed squared, so that would make it 9 minus t to the sixth. Okay, so there is a third way. So we get the luxury of being able to pick the x. It's independent. And then we have to find the new y. So there is how you find parametric equations when given a rectangular equation. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. We'll see you next time.